I am a warrior, the Saiyan Prince, Vegeta! Guys, are you ready for Dragon Ball Super episode 128 as the pride, the Saiyan Prince Vegeta takes on the one who worships strength, Dren. Android 17 heroically and quite shockingly sacrificed himself in the last episode, and ever since then has been the talk of the Dragon Ball community. Brothers, 17 own all of our hearts and deserves all the respect he's getting. It's been a long Without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. The main purpose of Seventeen going all out at Jiren and self-destructing was to protect Goku and Vegeta in order to buy some time for them to give them some breathing space. Seventeen's effort didn't go to waste as by the time the episode ended, Goku and Vegeta had enough time out to be ready to at least get back on their feet. This is leading us to episode 128 where initially both Goku and Vegeta will try to have a go at Jiren. Standing only a few hours apart from the episode, what we have here is a short preview breakdown to kind of talk about it and get all hyped up. However, this is one episode Vegeta fans absolutely would not want to miss. Historically, whenever we saw a shirtless Goku in Dragon Ball Z, it meant shit just got real. But we've actually never seen a totally shirtless Vegeta quite like this. We did get battle damaged armor or clothes, but this is a first for Vegeta. And I absolutely love it because he looks badass and gives you that intense vibe. That was previously subconsciously wired in our mind as a sign of epicness in the Dragon Ball universe. Vegeta has been shirtless for a while now, but will only be getting involved in his 100% serious type of action in the next episode. I don't know if I'm the only one, but it feels like ever since Dren powered up, he got kind of weaker. Well, actually, he might just be messing around, I mean this dude is a complete weirdo. Dude looks like that one awkward original unchanged sperm that took birth looking exactly like its primary form which developed eyes mouth. Actually, Jiren has been taking on everyone for a while and it makes you think if he's just a little bit tired. That's probably not the case, but we do have a scratch mark on his perfect body left by 17. Well, we don't even know if that actually hurt him or just affected his clothes because he was off guard. Anyways, we actually have some shots here where Goku is seen dodging some of Jiren's blows while being in his SSB form using instant transmission. We didn't see him dodge Jiren like that without Ultra Instinct before, but looks like Jiren will be catching up to that real quick and Goku fails to keep up as he is back to the base down in the ground. 
This is where Vegeta will probably vote that extra mile of the episode will put in that extra spatial effort. Like both Goku and Vegeta are absolutely energy drained. They simply can't keep fighting at once. This is when Vegeta realizes they have reached that stage of the battle royale where he, as a prince, has to take that one bold move. So. Vegeta will stand up and decide to give every last bit of his energy to hold down Jiren as long as possible, basically sacrificing himself, giving Goku an opportunity to recover and have one last go at Jiren for either the win or surviving the rest of the tournament. Well, the spoilers are clearly saying Vegeta will get eliminated. If you check Dragon Ball Super episode 129 preview summary, it says, episode title, Transcending the Limit, Mastering Ultra Instinct. Vegeta is nearly at his physical limit and now fighting through sheer willpower, but Jiren closes in for the finishing blow. And so, Universe 7's Goku and Universe 11's Jiren remain in the arena. Before long, a sudden change comes over Goku's eyes. Previously, episode 128 title stated, With noble pride till the end, Vegeta falls. So, that also hints Vegeta's elimination. However, I would hesitate to confirm 100% that Vegeta is getting eliminated in the next episode just based on the spoilers, because in the past, they've turned out to be somewhat misleading. By fall, it could also mean Vegeta will just get beaten really bad and then just fall down in some corner of the stage out of action, kind of like Frieza. Because episode 129 preview summary also says, only Goku and Jiren will remain in the arena, and I think it's highly unlikely that even Frieza will be eliminated. So they just might be referring to people in action. But all the Vegeta fans, we shouldn't get our hopes high because all the hints are saying Vegeta will go. Besides, we have like 3 more episodes of action to go, so someone has to get eliminated at this point. It's highly likely that Vegeta will be going out next in episode 128. However, this brings us to Frieza. Like most people, I'm also assuming Frieza and Goku will be the last survivors of Universe 7 and Frieza will have a crucial role at the end. However, 129 spoilers is trying to say only Goku and Jiren would survive, so that makes you wonder if there's a possibility of Frieza getting eliminated. I'm still betting on Frieza being active again at the very end, I just don't see why they had to get Frieza involved in the last episode. I'd rather have him down the entire time to make his return at the end somewhat surprising. Anyways, let's wrap this up as we cover the remaining details about the real battle of episode 128, Vegeta vs. Dread. Are you ready? And Vegeta is absolutely out of energy. As you see, he's taking blows left and right from Dren, watching it. Kind of bothering as to why Dren is just not eliminating Vegeta. I mean, he's in his base form, but who knows, maybe Dren realizes if he tries to eliminate, Vegeta still would have enough energy left to then power up and void it. I don't see any justification other than that. Vegeta will be getting even more wrecked and injured. We see this shot here as he has a black eye. The question is, what will Vegeta do from a state like this? I mean if Vegeta is to get eliminated, he just won't go out without displaying one last bit of badassery, right? But what could it be from this complete lack of energy? Goku's ultra instinct was triggered from a similar situation. Vegeta could logically get it too, but if he's to get eliminated in the same episode, UI wouldn't make much sense. So what is it gonna be? Will he go beyond blue one last time? Well, we see a shot of Bulma in the preview. That gives you an even stronger vibe of Vegeta unleashing one last move for Bulma before getting eliminated. Do you think it could be something like Vegeta keeps standing up? No matter how many times Jiren takes him down, just so he can buy more time for Goku and because giving up isn't pride. Maybe Jiren will develop a sense of respect for them based on that 
And as you know, Dragon Ball is as much about changing a character. Anyways, whether Vegeta gets illuminated or not, he's gonna do something special, be it a new form, attack, or just something brave that will make us proud. What do you think it's gonna be? Comment your predictions down below. See you in the next Dragon Ball Super.